UEFN has given us the ability of changing how the player's user interface looks. A user interface is what you see on the screen, such as your health, shields, minimaps, etc. In this tutorial, I want to continue from one of my previous tutorials that goes over making a custom currency. So I will show you how to make a custom UI for the stat device so that it looks better visually rather than using the default widget that Epic Games provides within Fortnite. So let's just hop right into it. The first thing we will need to do is set up our stat creator device. You can check out my previous video on how to set these up properly, especially if you are doing a currency system. It's best to set that up first and then do the UI afterwards. So to start, go to the Fortnite folder and search for stat creator device and then drag it into the map. In this tutorial, I am going to use gems as my currency. So we will change the stat name to gems. The only other thing we need to do here is go down to the UI section and where it says show widget in list and just uncheck this box. When this box is checked, it basically puts in a set position instead of being able to let you position your UI widget wherever you want. That's all we're going to do for now as we will now go into creating the user interface. First thing we will do here is go to our game folder, right click and go near the bottom to user interface, then click widget blueprint. Then we are going to click user widget. Then we can name it anything we want that will make it easy to find later on. I'm just going to call this Gem UI. Once you name it, double click to open it up. Here you will see a new layout and the first thing we need to do is go to the left side here and drag in a canvas. This canvas is represented by the green outline. It is what represents the user's screen. Anything we put inside of it, we can make appear for the user. Now in order to connect it with the stat creator device, we need to go down to the bottom here where it says view bindings. Open that up and click add view model. Here you will see a list of different systems and devices that we can connect to this specific widget. Since we are using the stat device, we will select the stat view model. Once we select our stat view model, this is where you can get a bit creative. I just went into Photoshop and created this very simple box that we are going to put on our user interface. We need to add it to our folder. So we can do that by going back to the main screen and within the folder you want it, you will click import to import the image. Once it's imported, then we will go back into the widget we were making before. We will then go to the left side here and click on image and drag it into the canvas. Once dragged in, click on it and then you can go to the content drawer and select your image you just imported and drag it into where it says image on the right. Once you have your image placeholder for your currency on the screen, you can then move it around to where you want it to be on the player's screen. One important thing to note is that you must set the anchor or else it will not work properly. So make sure you don't forget to do this. I want my image to be in the bottom left corner above the health bar. So I will move the image here and then I will set the anchor to the bottom left corner. Now we need to place down a text block that is going to represent the number of gems we have. To do this, simply go to the left side of the screen here and click on UEFN text block and drag it into the canvas. On the right side of the screen, you can change how the text looks visually. Since my background is white, I'm going to change the color of the text to a light blue. I'm going to increase the size and put an outline around it. Once you like how it looks, drag it into the position you want it to appear on the screen. You can also change justification. I usually put it to the right so that it does not go outside of the image I created. This text block will need to be anchored as well. And then the last thing we will do is name the text block to something like gem value. Now to connect it to the view model, we will simply click on the text block and open up view bindings and click here where it says add widget gem value. Now we are going to want to click here where it says gem value and we will need to select text because we want it to show up on the screen as a text. Now we need to click here and select a source, but even though it is a text block and we want text to show up, we need to actually convert the text into an integer so that it will actually display numbers. To do that, click here and then select conversion functions, then select to text integer. Now where it says value, we are going to click this little chain link icon here, then click the field. From here, we want to select MVVM UEFN stat. Then we want to select value. That's going to be it for this widget. 
We can now compile this and go back to the UEFN main screen. From here, we just want to select the stat creator device we made. And we want to scroll through the settings until we find the UI section where it says user widget. We're going to select the widget we just made. Mine is named gem UI from earlier. So we will select this one and you are all done. Now, this is how it looks in the game. I set up these stack counters to add and subtract gems so that you can see it working visually within the game. There is a lot more you can do when it comes to customizing the UI. So this video will be part of a series where I will try to go over everything such as player info, pop-up dialogues, score manager, etc. that can be customized on the user interface. Make sure to subscribe to see the next videos of the series that will help you make really cool user interfaces for your games. If you stayed till the end, just know I really appreciate you. Feel free to leave a like or comment on the video. I really try to respond to every comment that I receive. And that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Stay spicy. I'm out. Peace.